Hello and welcome to the world of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, a game where 3D platforming, crate jumping, mad scientists and bandicoots are in ample supply. Released all the way back in 1997 for the PlayStation 1, Crash Bandicoot 2 dazzled players with its great and colourful graphics, fun levels and excellent character animations that surpassed its predecessor Crash Bandicoot 1 by miles. But is the game still worth playing today? And indeed, where is Crash Bandicoot gone? Well, let's see what Cortex has to say. So the story goes that Dr. Neo Cortex discovered a cave filled with glowing pink crystals of energy. Cortex planned to use this energy to fuel up a machine so it could harness the power of a solo flux. But Cortex needed more crystals to be able to do this, so who does he turn to? Why is old enemy Crash Bandicoot no less? Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot... <laughs> The gameplay spreads across 25 levels with each one containing a pink crystal that you have to gather. These 25 levels are split into 5 warp rooms that act as mini hub rooms. Once you've managed to get the crystals in all 5 levels, you can then proceed to the centre of the room and go up to fight a boss battle. Along with that, there's quite a few secret levels and hidden areas that you can find to get all of the game's gems. These gems can be obtained by either destroying all of the crates in any given level or by finding them at the end of secret paths. There are some difficult parts to Crash 2 that can lead to some frustrating results, especially in these levels, and when you run out of lives you'll get a menacing game over screen. Ultimately, it's 3D platforming done right, and today's 3D platforming games can take notes from Crash Bandicoot 2 and learn something. I'm looking at you, Sonic Boom. I guess you didn't have what it takes, Crash. For 1997, Crash Bandicoot looked absolutely amazing and was easily considered to be one of the best looking games of the year. Sure, it still has that low polygon look, but it maintains its charming art style. Compared to the later games, Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutants, and you begin to wonder where all the magic went. The soundtrack for Crash Bandicoot 2 did wonders for the feel of every level in the game. From cub barking while riding polar to the chasing music of the boulder levels, the atmosphere in Crash Bandicoot 2 was amazing. Ultimately, Crash Bandicoot 2 was a fantastic 3D platform and still is. It evolved more when it reached Crash Bandicoot 3 and 4 and more still when we got Crash to Insanity. However, things took a turn for the worse for the series with the introduction of Crash of the Titans and Mind of a Mutant. And since then, aside from a few rumours here and there, there really hasn't been any indication that Crash Bandicoot is going to be making a comeback to its former glory. Which is a shame as it's one of those 90s platforms that really deserve to be brought back, much like Banjo-Kazooie is doing with ukulele. <laughs> so is Crash 2 still worth playing after all this time? That's a definite yes. Today, Crash Bandicoot certainly has a lot to prove, but if we turn back the clock, we can see that all things are possible with Crash Bandicoot 2. Overall, for Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, I give it a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching and check out these links below.